I think it's important for business people to learn from their mistakes. Uh, it's only when they make mistakes, when they experiment, that they find out what will work and what won't work. So a healthy attitude to risk is really critical. Where one has demonstrated in the past, actually, there has been some success, despite mistakes which anybody can make, then usually people who are potential investors in the business will look with some credibility at that business. We certainly know in the US, etc., that business failure is seen as a, a rite of passage in many senses for an entrepreneur. It's perhaps less of a positive uh, attribute here. There's a view out there you need to fail five times before you can really run a successful entrepreneurial business. There's a cultural thing in the UK about, you know, if you start up a business that doesn't work out, there's a stigma attached with that. Whereas in the States, that's, well, you've learned, what did you learn from that experience and what are you taking to the next opportunity? Compared to the rest of the world, I think we've got a long way to go. But failure should not, I don't think, be expected or required. We should have the support networks around people to minimise the risk of failure, but not be frightened of if that happens and a business does fail that suddenly an individual can never again run a new hyper-growth company. One of my favourite quotes ever, which is one of the Benjamin Franklin ones, which is experience is a dear teacher. And I really like it because it's this idea that experience can be this wonderful teacher, but it can be really expensive because people often don't learn from their experience. Every mistake is an opportunity. At an individual level, how we react to failure or adversity defines how we move forward as a business and as individuals. 